Alright guys, and welcome back to more Fire Emblem Awakening. Last time, we pretty much, I would say we did pretty good on that chapter. I'm not sure if that was supposed to be an easier chapter. Uh, chapter 4, I believe, where we fought Marth. And Marth fought very similar to Krom. I'm a guess, what I'm guessing right now, that's like some long lost brother of Mar or <laughs> I said Marth, of uh, Krom. Or, or... Or I'm, I'm thinking like something that time gate that showed up when we fought the Risen. I called it the Stargate SG-1. <laughs> I called it the Stargate. <laughs> I'm thinking it has something to do with a paradox or a time travel, which would be crazy for this type of game. I'm not even sure how uh, Fire Emblem plots usually go. But anyway, off camera, I was pretty much grinding on the game. I pretty much leveled people up using the wireless feature using the bonus box and then bring out bringing out bonus teams and then sometimes when i brought out bonus teams regular risen would appear and you seem to level up off the risen a lot more than just regular baddies you run into so as you can see let's look at our crew now if you can look at the bottom screen this got to be a better place to look at it, stats I guess this is the best place to do it, but yeah, look at if you look at the bottom screen, you can see Krom is 12 now, Ewan's in, is 10, level 10, and then he's running out of magic, so I'm going to have to go ahead and hook him up with another uh, tone. Lisa, 7, Frederick is 6, Sully is 8, can you believe that, and Kellum is 9, Long Q, I only put him in one battle. Sumia is still one, but I pretty much paired her up. I paired her up with Krom, and she has a support uh, conversation ready. Donnell still two. You know, pretty much all I did was just level up like the main party until until I start using the Out Realm Gate to level up low level parties. Because as you can see, we we unlocked the Out Realm Gate, which allows you to use DLC. You can pretty much buy DLC here. Now what I had already did was actually, I already bought a couple of maps. As you can see, I bought the Exponential Growth, Infinite Regalia, and the Golden Cafe, whatever that means. So I, I pretty much bought the pack, and what I want to do is just look at the Exponential Growth, because I heard this one is pretty much supposed to help you level up a lot faster. And I'll probably only use that to level up like my super low levels like Mario. We haven't even used Mario yet. We haven't even used Donald. We we pro how, who's the other guy we haven't used? Stall. Yeah, that's the other guy. We'll probably level them up in this exponential growth pack. And it's also probably a good way to level up support. So what I'll probably end up doing is playing this for a minute, but before we do that, we probably want to look at the support conversations we have unlocked. But as well, before we even do that, we also unlock the barracks or the barracks or whatever you call them. I'm not even sure what this is for. New events have occurred. Hmm, I wonder what this is. Hello, you in resting your mind for a bit? So Muriel's talking to me? What's Kel Kellum doing there? Let's talk to him. Or listen in, I should say. I've been practicing my war cry to get me noticed. I scared away two birds already. <laughs> 12 experience earned. Oh, that's cool. We get experience for just listening in on these people. Is that stall? That extra helping I didn't kick in. I feel great today. Gained a surge of strength and resistance. Really? You can just listen in to your party members and they get stat boosts. This is pretty cool. So, that's Lisa and Frederick. Hey, what are dreams for you, the future? Sometimes I feel like life has no direction. I dream of helping us all attain what we seek. Lisa's and Frederick relationships improve. Oh, okay, so you can also boost relationships here. And now it's Muriel and Ewan talking. Would you pair up with me? Fighting in teams increase our probability of success. Certainly, I'll devise some strategies and drop by later. Muriel, Muriel's and Ewan's relationship improves. Cool. That's cool. And then Ewan's by himself. I'm in top form today. Gained a surge of magic and speed. I wonder, does that permanently increase my magic and speed? Or is that like for the next battle? 
I'm just gonna assume it's for the next battle. A traveler who remembers nothing prior to being found. Oh, this is cool. So it pretty much gives you. Ah, so it gives you like a, a biography on the character that you want to look up. The Prince of the Sea. Or Elysi. Elysi. However you want to pronounce it. Elysi sounds cool. I think you have to pronounce it Elysi. Elysi. Crom's tomboyish little sister. The Prince of, of Elysi. With nary an ounce of nobility in her personality, she is among the most likable and approachable of the shepherds. The girl most likely to snort. <laughs> Born on March 6th. What's Crom's birthday? May 27th. Born on February 13th. So if I play on the birthday, I wonder if that actually gives them any kind of stat boost. The woman to end all men. <laughs> the last one you want cooking. Born on December 5th. Kill him. Born on June 24th. So we gotta play. Nah, damn it. It's not July. <laughs> Never mind. His birthday is June. Born on October 10th. The best at tripping over nothing. Born on November 24th. June 4th is his birthday. It would have been cool if Donald's birthday was on the 4th of July. Enter the vague. Wow, December 26th? Isn't that Christmas? What the hell? Oh wow, me and Muriel have like very similar birthdays. Hello, you and on a break? Nah. Alright, so let's go ahead and view the support stuff. As you can see, oh wow, Lisa has a uh I did not have this unlocked before. Lisa never had a support conversation unlocked with Frederick. So let's go ahead and do Lisa and Frederick. That's all right, I could have sworn he was over here. So, ah, there you are, Frederick. Jeez, why the grumpy face? Yes. I fear this is the only face I have, my lady. <laughs> was there something you needed? Hey! What are you doing back here? Well. Inspecting the contents, the contents of our armory for worn or damaged equipment, of course. Oh. I'll help. No. I cannot allow that. You could cut yourself for accidentally. Hey! Do you think I'm an idiot? Honestly, Frederick? <laughs> Forgive me. I think you are a princess who I am duty bound to keep safe. Yeah, yeah. Boy. Really? Was there something you needed from me, Lisa? Huh? Oh, I mean, yes, but I wanted to ask you a favor. Right. How may I serve you? Mm hmm I want you to train me like you do the others. I'm tired of struggling to keep up with everyone. I want to hold my own. I see. A fine idea. It would be my pleasure to assist you in training. Though I must warn you, I am not as gen a gentle teacher. Be certain you want this. Right. Oh, I am. Oh, she wants it. She's certain she wants it. So, who has one with who? Sully has one with Frederick. Crom has one with Sumia. There we go. So, Frederick has another one with Sully. Hey. There you are, Frederick. I thought you might be up for a little sparring. Ah. Certainly, Sully. All right, you may strike whenever you are ready. Where should I stab you? <laughs> Get ready for a whooping. Hmm, good technique in excellent form. However, it is now my turn. Critical hit! <laughs> he got a critical hit on Sully. Alas for you. Are you alright? Oh yeah, just peachy, thanks. I think I'm gonna yield though. Yes. Is something the matter? Just wondering how you beat me so easily is all. Always impressive. I would hardly call such a match easy. Yeah, but I never lose to anybody. Sometimes these things are a simple matter of chance, just like that critical hit I just said. He had a critical hit, and that takes chance. Hmm. Hmm. Well, thanks for the practice. I'll let you know once I hone my edge a little bit. Ah. I look forward to it. Sally and Frederick attain support level C. Alright, now for Crom and Sumia. Us. Hello. Oh, there you are. Hmm? Hello, Sumia. Did you need something? Like I was trying to say before, uh, I got interrupted by Sumia saying hello. But, like I said, uh, I got an item, pretty much. I got it from the Renown Awards or whatever. It's called Seed of Trust. I'm not sure, but I have that on Sumia. I'm not sure what it does, but I'm thinking it boosts 
the affection level between whoever has it on like let's say if i do this conversation and she has the seat of trust on it pretty much speeds up the affection uh, it, it pretty much speeds up the event process before they have the next support conversation is what i'm thinking but anyway let's continue the conversation no oh no ewan is just looking for you mm. all right the strategy meeting poor ewan does love to ah captain uh, are you all right <laughs> Yes, I'm fine. I just tripped on a pebble. Guys, how embarrassing. It's because you're so exhausted. You've been working too hard lately. No. I'm fine, Simia. And besides, we're all tired. Such endless fighting wears on everyone. Prom, you need to... You need no... All right, excuse me. You have no need to don a brave face for my sake. You carry twice the burden of anyone. It's only natural you're exhausted. Thank you. It kind of say so. But in truth, everyone looks to their commander for inspiration and strength. An army is only as stalwart as its leader. The instant I show weakness, we're through. It must be hard for you. Right. I'll be fine. And please don't speak of this conversation to anyone, all right? Of course not. I would never. <laughs> At ease, Sumia. And stop worrying so much. It'll take more than a few battles to bring this soldier to his knees. Oh. I know. You're the greatest warrior that I ever... Oh, I just realized something. Hmm? What is it? But... You've trusted me with a secret. It's our first secret together. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, I suppose it is. Well... Don't worry. My lips are sealed. Tighter than a bear trap. <laughs> so long as you promise to take a nap before the strategy meeting. What? What? Yes! I'll just tell you and that you've been delayed. Really? And if I don't agree to your terms... <laughs> then I'll tell everyone the mighty crown was bested by a mere pebble. <laughs> blackmail. Right. That sounds like blackmail. <laughs> Still, I suppose a short nap couldn't hurt. <sighs> it's so thrilling to be able to help out like this. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Sweet dreams. <sighs> that girl has a strange knack for getting her way. <laughs> Sweet dreams are made of these. When I do disagree. Anyway. <laughs> Let's go ahead and save the game. What we're going to do in this episode is check out some of the DLC. So let's go ahead and go to the Outrealm Gate. Let's play a map. You know what? First of all, let's look at some more maps because I actually put $20 in my account to buy some maps on here. So let's look at all the maps first. The only ones I, I went directly to the exponential growth. I was like, I need that because you know how much I like that grind. But anyway... Future Pass Pack, the Future Pass 3. So the Outrealm Gate is pretty much allowing you to go to other games of the future. Rescue Lucina, Jerome's a sub Who? <laughs> Who are these people? So I'm guessing these are like characters from different Fire Emblem games. Rescue Lucina, Jerome, and Severa, and Lawrence. They, just, they have to be from different games. Purchase Scramble Pack. Rescue Cynthia, Nojia Noel, and Na. Owen, Brelly, and Yarn. So you can pretty much like... I, I, I like that. It's pretty much like fan service. They pretty much put previous Fire Emblem games characters into this game through DLCs. Harvest Scramble. Summer Scramble. Hot Spring Scramble. At the Harvest Festival, units of the same gender have many secrets to share with each other. This beach retreat gives units of the parents' generation a chance to talk to one another. At this hot spring, units of the children's gen- What is this, Naruto generations? Like, what is this? What do they mean by parents' generation? There's a lot of DLC. Like, you see how much all this DLC costs? Five Anna Firefly rescue Anna and her four sisters from the lava caves. And the difficulty is a five star. You know what? What I want to do is just check out the scramble pack because it looks pretty hilarious. The summer scramble. I could just look at the avatar. That just looks kind of, uh. It looks like it's fan service. So let's get the fan service pack for $6.50. Holy shit. Alright, let's buy it. Yeah, I already added all the funds to this, by the way. I didn't want to put my funds on camera. And everybody get to see my credit card information. Like, what the hell? Because I know it would be somebody that would just go through it. Alright. Yep, I'm okay with it. Total. How much will I have left? 
So I have like six dollars and eighty cents. So I'll still be able to buy another pack. Cool. Dude, you can spend like a whole nother fifty dollars on this game, which makes no sense. Well, it's kind of cool though, cause it, it pretty much extends the damn gameplay. Destination SD card. Download in progress. You know what? I completely forgot we were gonna have to wait for this to download. So what I might do here is just if it takes too long, I'll just speed this up right away, which I'll probably end up doing anyway. All right, so I pretty much sped that up. I'm pretty sure you guys didn't want to sit there and wait for like a good minute and a half. It downloaded pretty quickly, to be honest. But anyway, let's go ahead and exit and actually play one of the maps. I think we should start off with the exponential growth pack or map first. Let's go ahead and do this. Checking for downloadable maps. Xenolog. <laughs> Xenolog? That's actually in the word? Xeno gears? That's that's a word. Where are we? <laughs> Anna. Oh, bonjour. You are a Z outrams, a place where all your fantasies come true. <laughs> we have more exotic adventures here than you can shake Z steak at. Do not wait. I will not tell Z wise. <laughs> uh, Anna, are you feeling all right? You seem uh, different. Hmm. Nonsense. Do not confuse me with some real life acquaintance. <laughs> I am Trez different. Maybe n is that the merchant? That is the merchant chick, isn't it? That is a merchant. Okay, so she's the merchant here. Okay, I am Trez different. Maybe how you say alternate? <laughs> oh, I see. I think. However, I am in need of Z help. Could you des destroy Z? On tubes that are pouring out the Z. Oh, I cannot speak in that French accent. I'm sorry. They have been raiding our village and stealing all the crops from the fields. What? That's terrible. Wait, there's a village inside their ruins? How is that even possible? And wait, what kind of monster zombie thing eats vegetables? <sighs> they are alternate too, Sherry. Is it the alternate world? Hmm. You're right. Well, um, look, we have an urgent matter to attend to in our own world, so if we lent you some weapons, I'm sure you could take care of, of a few corpses. Moy, I am just a poor defenseless woman pretending to be <laughs> pretending to have this ridiculous accent. <laughs> I cannot actually do Z fighting. A pity if you cannot help, I will just have to wait for Z next passerby. Meanwhile, Z villagers will starve. I love how this cat is just like literally about to knock out all my cars. <laughs> Get away from my cars, damn cat. Oh god, now you're starting to sound like Hubba. <sighs> that pumpkin, he was like the son to me, and now he has eat he has been eaten. <laughs> wow. Mon amour. I warn you not to be not to dress like Z tomato. Show me the bite marks. <sighs> Why would anyone that doesn't make any sense? Fine, we'll kill all the damn creatures for you, alright? Thanks. Well there, buddy, take it easy. I just work here. <laughs> Ah, oh, she was trolling! Besides, it ain't all charity. You'll gain plenty in the bargain, too. Taking out the intoned earned you a lot more, you know. Hmm? I'm afraid. I don't know what. <sighs> oh, well, you'll figure it out. You better hurry, though. Those, them, those intoned are sure to be dashing for the exits. Toot sweet. That is to say, toot the sweet. Wow! <sighs> Liz sigh. <laughs> oh, man. All right, so I'm not sure how this works. We can only have six people? That's lame. So you know what I wanna do? So let's take out, oh wow, we we can have Krom sit out on this. We don't have to have Krom inside the party. So let's have, no, let's have Krom in there. Let's take out Frederick, replace him with Sumia. Let's take out Kellum and Start leveling up some of these low levels. Cat, man, why are both of these cats are right next to my plugs? Like, yeah, we go, yeah, we go unplug him. He ain't recording today. Nope, not today. We gonna unplug his stuff. We gonna unplug all your audio equipments, all your video equipments, cause we don't care. We the cats. I wish I had a freaking camera right now. I'd be showing you what they be doing. Anyway, look at he's sitting on my games now. Oh my goodness. Anyway, 
Should we bring in long? Yeah, let's get hit. Nah, let's get another uh, long range person who's hard to level up. Very. Let's go ahead and make a save. All right, so let's go ahead and fight. Victory, route the enemy. Root the enemy. Sully. Alright, so what I want to do is have Lisa team up with Ewan. Because he gets a magic boost, and he's pretty good with magic, I believe. And his speed is already godlike, so... Let's move him up. We're all the enemies! We're are the enemies, I should be saying. So, damn, Crom can't go anywhere. Blighted Claws, level 10, 30, 20. Whoa, man, you can't level up off of these guys. They'll just wreck you. Underdog, if a foe's level is higher for advanced classes, add plus 20 to level. What? Huh? If a foe's level is high, damn. Underdog, even rhythm. What the hell? There's some crazy skills they got. Counter, take damage taken from an adjacent foe enemy is de dealt back to that foe. What the flip? How are you supposed to level up off these guys? They tough as eggs. All right, so there's a lot of level one guys over here. So you know, let's have Sumia come over there. Man, that's nonsense, yo. Let's have Crom team up with Sumia. Have Sully come up here. Oh, wow, I didn't even see this guy. Let's have everybody go to the level one spot. I don't think we can defeat all of them. This is stupid, like... How can you level up off of these tough ass guys? Unless they just don't attack you and they just try to run towards the exit. That's the only way I can see how you can, how this plays out. Maybe I should put him like right here. He gets to attack twice. Yeah. But look at that. His hit ratio is only 40%. Wow, that's super lame. I heard somewhere that the entombed are like the Risen's nobles. Not very noble of you to purloin carrots and cabbages from the weak, though. I must bury you in the name of upper class beings everywhere. Ah, he wouldn't miss. Wow! Wow! That's the weakest level up ever. That was the weakest level up ever. She can attack twice. Let's have her attack twice with the highest hit chance. Because she gets a higher hit chance with the bronze lands, and then she already yeah. Let's go ahead and attack with the bronze lands. Hey. Oh, so you like picking other people's veggies? Try picking on me instead. What's wrong? Not so keen on more meaty targets, ha? Huh. Good thing you're made of fertilizer, cause I'm gonna kick the crap out of you. Let's do it then. Enough talk, Sully. <laughs> Ouch. Uh, she talk him out. Hell of a fight. Damn! <laughs> she got, she literally almost got a level up in that one go. Hey, where are these guys going? 
Alright, so what we want to do... What we probably want to do... Go ahead and have you. Damn, you will take this guy out. Holy cow. Hey, let's take him out then. <laughs> Fighting vegetarian zombies ought to make for an interesting experience. Experience, wait. Could that be the bonus reward she was talking about? Alright, let's do it. And on top of that, since you was paired up with Lisa, he gets 50% extra uh, experience. Wow, that's ridiculous. Nice. He's level 11 already. I was already level 11 with you and before I even did this map. Oh, nice. She gets to attack twice. Oh, that's because she's with Krom. Let's look for a different target. This guy can hit us once for 13. She'll definitely leave level up from this. Wait, you shall not pass. Wait, what? I might not be the best knight in the group, but I could put you on your plate. She just made a Lord of the Rings reference. Now, regurgitate those vegetables or... Ew, wait, no, don't do that. Stay focused. You got this, Sumio. Oh, Krom, you took her experience, bro. Oh, she still leveled up. <laughs> nice. Nice. Maybe I can finally make a difference. Alright, he should be able to kill this guy. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. A hundred experience for taking out one. Hmm, am I not a thing of beauty? No, you are not, sir. Oh, we don't want to go against this guy. <clears throat> or do we? Wait, hold on a second. Even rhythm. Grants hit evasion during even numbered turns. I gotta start looking at their damn uh, attributes, cause they be looking like they be having some ridiculous attributes where they can counter you if you attack. Oh hell no! Nah. So let's go ahead and attack. We might get more experience if we attack this guy. Twenty-eight. We might be able to kill this guy. Miss! Yes! He missed! We might be able to chase him down and kill him next turn. Alright. Good stuff, Sully. That's the end of our turn. She should be able to chase him down and kill him. We probably got like two more turns here. Let's have her take out this other Risen. She has Iron Lands. Hopefully she can get this guy. Alright, Krom, don't jump in, alright? Let her handle this. Let her get the experience. Damn, there we go. There we go. This is a perfect way to lower, level up your lower level people. Like, I wouldn't use this for, like, the level of Frederick anyway, because you can probably level up better in one of the main maps with the higher level classes, but this is a perfect way to get Donnell to level up, because I just could not level him up. I could not use him against the fight in, uh, during Marth. I just didn't want to put him in there to get experience, because it was just... He just... He probably would have died. Alright, so that's good. We can probably take out this guy underdog sword breaker if the enemy is using a sword underdog if the foe's level is higher for advanced classes add plus 20 levels all right so let's hit him with the thunder you, can do it. you got this Lisa 
Nice. Another level up for me. <laughs> you and holy shit, he got like two level ups from this already. Nice. And Sully can get another one too. And she's fighting a level 20 guy. Let's go ahead and use the bronze lance. She's hitting for a hundred anyway. No chance of a critical hit either. Alright. Miracle? What is that about? I'm so mad at that. Hopefully he doesn't get away because we need her to level up off of that. Can he reach anybody? He can reach that guy. Can he kill him? Yes, he can. Yeah, there you go, Varian. I am legend. Damn, he's leveling up kind of weak. I think the level ups are pretty damn random. Oh, they're all getting away. Don't let the other guy get away. Yeah, he's still there. Alright, so I, yeah, let's have Sully's been working on this all day. Let's give it to her. I'd be so mad if Miracle activated again. Nope. Alright, it only activates if he has HP greater than one. Alright, Sully really deserved that. She worked for it. There you go. Turns out the business end of my sword is me. Outdoor fighter. Nice. Mm -hmm. Ah, voila! The intones are no more. No. Indeed. And we're all stronger for the experience. It was actually... <laughs> oh, that's nice. But the intones spring up like weeds, really. So come back anytime you are looking for the challenge. No doubt the villagers will weep tears of joy to see you again. Really? Right, because we can save their precious vegetables. Vegetables they somehow grow amidst stony ruins. <laughs> vegetables threatened by vegetarian monsters. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> oh, this story is pretty funny though. Like seriously, vegetables growing in tombs with zombies that eat vegetables. That's hilarious. Exponential growth. So that's a great way to level up low level fighters. Awesome. So I guess what we'll do next time, we'll advance the story. I'll grind. I will only use that if I need to grind. If it's getting too tough in the later chapter, I'll probably just sit there and grind off of that. But for now, let's call it a day and uh, save the game, take a short break, and then once we come back, we will be back with more Fire Emblem Awakening. So I will see you guys next time.